Hey everyone, I'm Sam. Today we're making a simple and delicious sweet and sour shrimp ball dish that's tangy, sweet, and a family favorite. First, rinse the shrimp thoroughly in cold water. For this recipe, you'll want to choose larger shrimp. Pat the shrimp dry with paper towels, making sure they're as dry as possible. Next, we'll make a deep cut along the back of each shrimp, which helps them form into a ball shape later. In a bowl, add some sliced ginger and chopped green onions, then pour in some cold water. Squeeze the ginger and onions to release their flavors into the water, and then add this mixture to the shrimp. This step helps to remove any fishy smell. Now add salt and some black pepper, and mix everything by hand so the shrimp absorbs all the flavors. Let it marinate for 15 minutes. While the shrimp is marinating, let's prepare our sweet and sour sauce. In a bowl, add four tablespoons of tomato paste, two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of vinegar, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and five tablespoons of water. This sauce works great for any sweet and sour dish. Once the shrimp has marinated, coat them with cornstarch, mixing well to ensure an even coating. Then, roll each shrimp in dry cornstarch and shape them into balls by hand. Now, it's time to fry the shrimp balls. Heat the oil until it's hot enough that bubbles form around a chopstick. Carefully add the shrimp balls one by one once they start to set, gently stir them. Fry until they're golden brown and crispy. Keep a little bit of oil in the pan and pour in the prepared sauce. Cook on high heat until the sauce thickens like this. Add the shrimp balls back into the pan, ensuring they're fully coated with the sauce. And there you have it. Sprinkle with some white sesame seeds and our delicious sweet and sour shrimp balls are ready to enjoy. Give it a try and thanks for watching. See you next time.